Welcome to Deco Talk with me, France Alexander. So many people ask me, France, what is your likes and dislikes when you create a room? And today I'm going to share with you how I created our lounge and walk you step by step with the selections that I've made to achieve the look. For me, it's so important to have a unique point of view, as in your own likes, your own dislikes, and to make sure that it's uniquely you. Therefore, I stay true to myself and I make sure that whatever I select is items that I like and that is going to portray my personality. Colors that I like to use, for instance, in the room is the greens and the blues. And as far as the lounge goes, if you have a look at the fabrics that I like to use, I personally don't like trends at all. I don't like to adhere to them. I feel that you need to stay true to the things that you feel are relevant. If you do like something that are in trend, it's not a mistake to use it, but make sure that you like it. It's not just because of the fact that it's a trend that you are uh, introducing it into your space. If I show you photos of what the room looked like before and then the process that I followed, you'll see that I've selected a very neutral tile that is matte. I think a matte tile is way more forgiving, uh, especially if you have dogs like we do. When it comes to creating the space, I think it's most important to plan your space. For instance, if you are designing your TV lounge and you have a TV unit in mind, perhaps you are working with an interior designer, just make sure that you allow and cater for whatever you're going to be placing inside your TV unit. Maybe you've got kids that have an Xbox or we make sure that you have enough cabling for it that you have conduit in the wall that will cater for for all those equipment that you want to install and then also plan it you know it's it's such an important item because it, it can, can be more than just a tv unit it can host books it can be a decor item at the same time when selecting furniture and fabrics and materials for your room and you're planning your room Make sure to mix it up. Don't be scared to use color, don't be scared to use textures. In this room I've used from acrylic to brass, marble, wood, and it all works. I'm a big fan of the blues and the greens. It worked perfectly within this home. The setting and the style of the home and architecture of the house is a beach villa. Try not to be too matchy-matchy. When you look at the scatter cushions and fabrics that I've selected in this room, it all does combine quite nicely and it, it, there is a cohesive look to it. But there is from animal print to botanical prints to Japanese inspired prints. But it's all about placement, where you place that specific item that you love so much and making it sure that it does work within your setting. The layout of this room was rather tricky. Seeing that it's got so many openings, it's got the windows, it's got doors, we wanted to make sure that we keep it quite open so that it has a nice flow. So when you start designing and doing the layout of your furniture, I advise, take some masking tape, pin it to the floor and see whether that is going to suit your lifestyle for one and secondly, whether the movement feels right. And when that does, then only start measuring for your furniture. A common mistake that people make is buying small furniture for a small room. This room is only 4x6 and yet I've selected pieces that are quite large. So if you're going to start looking at furniture and you have a smaller space, don't go and buy many small pieces of furniture because it will only make the room look smaller. Buy one large sofa as an example and maybe two chairs or one chair, less furniture but maybe larger pieces, that will actually make the room look a lot bigger than what it is. 